And this next story has received national attention. And tonight, the people responsible for killing pregnant Savannah Soto, Matthew Guerra, and their unborn child are still out there somewhere. Before their bodies were found, a clear alert was issued to help find pregnant Savannah. Tonight, the night team's Penny Santos asks why that alert didn't go out sooner. To come home. <laughs> That's why we come home. That's the plea of a family desperately searching for their missing loved one. On Friday, December 23rd, Leon Valley Police say they got a welfare check request from the family of Savannah Soto. The expectant mother and her boyfriend, Matthew Guerra, were last seen on the previous afternoon at their Grissom Road apartment in a gray Kia. On Sunday, December 24th, Leon Valley Police told KSAT there was not a missing persons report and that there was no cause for concern. But the next day, on Christmas, Leon Valley Police issued a clear alert for Soto through the Texas Department of Public Safety. Today, we asked Leon Valley Police Chief David Gonzalez why the clear alert wasn't issued sooner. He declined our request for an on-camera interview. He did say that initially detectives were sorting out all the information they were receiving to determine what could be going on with the couple. There has to be some indication that their disappearance was life threatening and involuntary. Allison Steele helped the clear alert become law in 2019, nearly two years after her daughter, Kaylee Mandati, was murdered. The clear alert is like an amber alert for adults. It basically was developed to cover the gap between the amber alert for children and the silver alert for older people. She says criteria for the clear alerts help ensure it's not overused and the public doesn't become desensitized. There has to be less than 72 hours passed since they disappeared. So we're talking about fresh cases here. In addition, a person must be between 18 and 64 years of age, and there has to be enough information to give to the public, like a suspect or vehicle information to help locate them. Steele says investigations have a lot of moving parts. Outside of the law enforcement domain, sort of are left asking questions as to why it didn't go out sooner, or why it didn't go out at all sometimes. But the thing to remember is we just don't know. These are active police investigations. So those of us, you know, outside of those agencies don't really know what the evidence is on the table. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.